Hey, welcome back to Postal Barbecue. I'm Javen Postal, and today on the grill, we're gonna show you how to make a reverse seared T-bone steak using the Weber Jumbo Joe. And just like always, I'm gonna put all the show notes as well as the full recipe in the description box below, so make sure to click down there to see everything that you need for this cook. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more great barbecue recipes, tutorials, and reviews. Other than that, let's get into the cook. So to get started with this cook, you're first of all gonna need some sort of steak. We're using uh, this thick cut T-bone steak today. Uh, it looks gorgeous. So the first thing that we're gonna do is dry brine this steak. And uh, we're gonna do that by applying a half a teaspoon of kosher salt for every pound of meat. So this is about one and a half pounds, so we're gonna salt accordingly. And so once we have this steak salted, we're gonna place it into the fridge for a minimum of two hours, but preferably uh, you will wanna do it overnight. Okay, so we've dry brined this T-bone steak uh, for about three hours now, and you can see that the salt is doing its job. It's penetrating into the meat. It has some really nice color. And because we are keeping this simple uh, with just our salt now uh, and then some pepper later on, we're gonna go ahead and get our grill and Sloan sear set up uh, for our reverse sear. To get our grill and Sloan sear up, I placed about uh, 12 briquettes into the corner of the Sloan sear and got them fully lit. Next, we'll place the cooking grate on, uh, followed by our T-bone steak. And then once we have our steak on, we're gonna probe it with our leave-in thermometer uh, so we can monitor the temperature as it cooks. Once we have all that in place, we're gonna close the lid and begin cooking at 225 degrees. So our steak has just hit 90 degrees. So we're gonna open up the lid and we're gonna give it a flip just to promote some even cooking. We're gonna replace the instant read thermometer, close the grill and continue cooking. After about 40 minutes of cooking, our T-bone steak has just reached 110 degrees. So we're gonna pull it off the grill as well as the grate so that we can use a cold grate technique to give a great sear. To prepare our steak, the first thing we're gonna do is take some paper towel and just dry off the surface of it. We want as uh, much moisture off of uh, this steak as possible, just to help with that searing process. The next thing that we're gonna do is uh, brush it with some extra virgin olive oil, and then we're gonna take some uh, fresh cracked pepper, and we're gonna generously apply this to our steak. And when that's done, we're gonna finish getting our grill set up for a final sear. So we topped up the Sloan sear with just under half of a basket of fully lit briquettes. We're gonna place our cool grate onto our grill. And then we're gonna place our steak directly over the coals to begin our searing process. So we're gonna be searing this one minute on each side until we've reached our desired temperature of 132 degrees. So our T-bone steak is done, it's sliced, it smells incredible. It was cooked just slightly over to 137, uh, but that's okay, uh, it's gonna taste amazing. Here we go. So tender and juicy. Mmm, -hmm. guys, the flavor on this is incredible. So that's how you make that delicious reverse sear T-bone steak using the kettle grill and slow and sear. Hey, if you like what we're doing on this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more great barbecue recipes, tutorials, and reviews. And other than that, we'll see you next time.